हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल रिम्बर्समेंट इज नीड ऑफ एवरी बिजनेस एंड इफ यू आर डूइंग इट मैनुअल इट विल टेक लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू अप्रूव ऑल दोज रिक्वेस्ट एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो हाउ यू कैन ऑटोमेट रिम्बर्समेंट इन योर बिजनेस सो यू कैन सेव लॉट ऑफ टाइम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो गाइज लेट्स स्टार्ट एंड क्रिएट आवर रिम्बर्समेंट मॉड्यूल एंड फॉर दैट वी नीड टू गो uh into power automate and i am on that particular page my friend you will just type make.powerautomate.com and you will land over there you need to log in your uh, official email address and many times i told you that if you don't have your official work address you can just go on google so temp email you can just search and you will get it that is what you can use to create your power automate account my friend once you will create the account you will have access of all these things like home that is where you can see all the flow available here and some of these flows are related to the microsoft like microsoft created for the businesses and then we have create from here you can create the flow we have automated cloud flow we have instant cloud flow we have scheduled cloud flow and if you want to create a flow using ai you can also do it here and then we have desktop flow and my friend if you want to improve any particular flow here we have process mining so everything is here you don't need to go anywhere else after that you can see we have templates and microsoft created lots of templates related to the business and one of those we will use here to create our a reimbursement module and then we have learn if you want to learn about power automate you can use this particular link and all the flows you created so far that is what you can see here so if you want to edit if you want to delete if you want to modify all those things you can do from here so let's go back and create our reimbursement flow and as i told you that what we are going to do is so let me search by the microsoft form because microsoft form is required in this case and this is the flow we are going to use why because we'll submit a form then we'll have the approval process and if it is approved then we'll add in excel file and then my friend will also send email so let's go back there and see that how we can do it so the first thing you need to do here is that you need to check all those connections because if you don't have connection my friend you will not able to make it working and that's why if you think that check 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 and check then you are ready to go you will click on continue once you will click on continue all the things that is required for this particular flow you have to set up here the first thing you have to set up here my friend that is the microsoft form you created so you can see the form i already created many forms but we are going to use the one which is required for this form and that is reimbursement claim form and again the form id will use the same form so let me find it out and we got it if you are thinking that sandeep so me that which kind of form form you created let's go back to the microsoft form and see it so my friend you can see here we have this form and this is how you can create you know that in microsoft form you can create any kind of form so i created the first thing is full name then i created the the department let me change it it is not question it is department and then the next thing we have that is expense type which kind of expense you are doing then the amount then the date then comment and then we also have the file so you can easily check it and then either approve either disapprove so now you can see our form is ready based on your company requirement based on your business requirement you can modify this form and i'm not going to tell you that how you can create this form i think that you must know how you can configure a microsoft form and that's it my friend after that you will just go here in this particular flow flow and select that form then the approval title like what title you want to give so you can give the same thing
approval request and then to whom you want to assign in your organization it means that who is going to approve it so in my case i'm going to approve it so i will just select it stw services and check in this and then also we need that excel file where you are going to store the data so you can see one drive we have here but my friend one thing i want to explain here is you will select the one drive then it will ask for the excel file or the uh, the excel file you are going to attach here so let me check where i have the file and based on that i will guide you that how you can create that particular file that is very important so i will go here open this one drive and i think my file is somewhere in my files so power automate demo i think it should be here yeah it's here so my friend this kind of excel sheet you need to create so all the fields you have there that is what like all all the fields you want that is what you can just use here and this is what we, we are going to use in our flow so now i know where is my file so i will go here and power automate demo then i will select that file file is here so i will select it and now it's loading once it is loaded you can see the table i have i created another table and that is what it is showing here but i deleted that if you refresh it is not there and then again the same like outlook email so i will type my name here sandeep okay and then again name i will give my name here and now my friend we are ready so we'll click on create and it's done so now you can see it is here got it you will just click on got it up so approve a microsoft form response so that is what we need to change because we are creating a reimbursement flow so what i will do is i will change it right stw services reimbursement request and this is how you can click and save now it is saved and you can see my friend everything is here like form is submitted form is already there response is received approval process is there and then based on the approval process something we need to check here like based on the condition approved that is what we have so let me check what we have in this particular form is it approved or what so we have the the value we need to check here so once we have let's go back to the the flow so condition yeah so what we'll get here from and if you will approve so it is approved then true and if it is not approved then false and if you click so we are sending one email you can see mail is going here and the same thing here the mail is going here with the comment so you can see everything is set and now let's test it i will click on test manual and i will go to that particular form and submit it so let me select response so just let me preview and from here i will paste sandeep Mishra. then i will select the department then the which kind of expense travel because i went somewhere and i spent around five thousand fifty thousand rupees and like date night and comment like i went to mumbai and then if you have the receipt that is what you can upload so that receipt will go over there what i'm going to do is i will just attach something what i can attach here so i will i'll just attach this file so now file it is attached i will submit and let's see i will go here paste oh i missed it so now again we have to go and submit it my form because i didn't click on submit so again same thing i will do so. misra 
the marketing and then i will use travel then i will uh, the amount this time 5000 because it will be too much expense for the stw i went to mumbai and now i will upload the file which file this time let me upload the same file so i will upload this this one okay so everything is done now let's click on submit and see so it's running 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 and you can see it's running but it's still waiting here why because i got approval request and let me show you how i got that approval request so you can see here i have if you click i can approve i can reject at the same time my friend if i will go to my email address and let's go back here and you can see i have the email for approve or reject so either you can use your teams or you can use microsoft, microsoft teams or you can use your inbox let me approve click approved and submit what is happening so you can see approved and now it's going here it should go this way let me oh it's going this way might be a condition is not matching that is what we can check here so let me edit again i think it should work why it's not getting in that way so code view but my friend you got the overall idea it is kind of like the the successful and then the if we go here parameter body is equal approve let's do contains approve so i will just save it might be lower case or something by that it's not working so one more time yeah so let's go i will just use automatically with the previous data that is what i will select so i will paste it now let's see so still waiting and i'm getting through so i'm just approving it i think this one so let me approve approve with this we came to the end of this video and i hope that you already learned how you can automate reimbursement in your organization and that will save a lot of time if you like my content, please like and subscribe my channel so I can create this kind of videos. Your one like will give me so much energy to create this kind of videos again and again. So see you in next video. Till then, bye. This is Sandeep Misra signing out.